Greetings from Carolee Studios in Louisiana. It's been a long time since I have uploaded a um, video on my channel and um, this book has been sitting on my desk and I finally got it completed after my daughter got married this past week. Things might get back to normal where I might be able to post some things and create some things. But um, this book is from an old Reader's Digest. And so I left the cover um, plain and created some, a spine with some lace that I collected not too long ago. And... Um, so, yes, yeah, so I just want to introduce this book, and it'll hopefully go up in my shop soon. I tried to keep it somewhat plain in order for, you can always put a title here, or a book plate cover. Um, the same thing with this part right here. These books, this book has two signatures, and left some space here for so hopefully you can put more things and it can grow, give it some space to grow. It has a sari silk tie that you can tie up as it grows, keep it, keep it closed. Um, so here's the first page, little pocket. These pages are from um, old books and some pages that I tea dyed or copied and stenciled. Some of these are tea dyed and little stamp and stenciling. A little pocket with some homemade cards. Again, paper that I had some watercolored and tea dyed stains on it. An eco dyed paper that seemed to go real well. And on the back of that, some Pockets and cards, I'll book some handmade papers, some dictionary papers, a nice paper that you can put um, as a backdrop, you can put some pictures on. Um, it has some cards in it, which have been sewn, stamped, so these are all not printed, but created individually, so these are the only copies of them. And in the back, you can do some journaling or pictures. Some lots of clips to use throughout the journal. Um, things so these can be arranged how you see fit, moved around, however you'd like. So again, just little stamping, little graph paper. This is an envelope with a sheet of my handmade paper that you can use and decorate. Either create pockets with it and then fill this with the things that you'd like. You can create um, all kinds of things with, you know, just that paper. Again, pockets, tags, if you wanted extra tags. Um, so, yeah. let's take it back in. <laughs> um, Handmade paper, another tag, and a little pocket there. Some more stenciling, some more watercolor, some more stamps, middle of that signature. So all kinds of ways that you can use this. If you like to journal, this is a perfect book. Lots of writing space, but also lots of space that you can create your own collages and put in your own pictures. Great book to use for journaling. And scrapbooking, places to put recipes, places to put your life, to bits and pieces of your life. So again, more tags and pockets. It's the back of that eco dyed paper, another pocket with a little tag on it vellum, plain paper, and this is the beginning of the second second signature, which has another little tag with a pocket on it, a little label, 
um, piece of muslin tea dyed and stamped. More um, pockets, but yeah, so hopefully it's, it's kind of a work of art. All handmade items inside, hand dyed paper, hand stenciled, lots of different things that you can use to create your own but yet giving you some sort of background to start with. I like the color, I like this um, color yellow, so that's sort of my theme of my book. More hand dyed, hand stamped, hand sewn tags. Another piece of an envelope you can attach things to. Another muslin tag and some different things. More clips, more paper to do whatever. Another tags, lots of different tags that you can place wherever you'd like, rearrange, another little Muslim stamped piece of cloth there. Again, just lots of artwork, I think. Lots of different things that you can do with this book. Um, another tag, there's another envelope that you can put whatever you'd like in it. Another little bit of stenciling. So that is the inside of this book. Some more handmade paper from Nepal. Some more tea dye, another tag. Um, just lots, like I said, lots of different creative things that you can do. And here's the back with its own pocket and another tag. So that is the inside of this book. And I like to make a little kit with these and give you some things that you can create with. So with it, you'll get two tea dyed pockets that you can stick anywhere in the book. Um, you'll get two pieces of um, stamped um, kind of doilies that you can tear up and use in collage, um, collaging in the book. You get, um, these are some laminated flowers that I did this past, um, this past summer. And they can be stuck anywhere in the book using these little clips or put in a pocket or give as gifts. They come with the book. Also with it comes little, some more little clips, some brown ribbon that kind of goes with the theme of this book, some washi tape, which also goes with this book, and some Avril yarn that you can use to put on tags or however you see fit. Also with this comes a lot of little goodies that you can use in this book or use later, but here's some tabs that you can, you fold and you can write whatever you'd like on them. Uh, maybe to tell viewers where what what's in your book or where to go or anything like that. So they can be attached anywhere. And also just some teeny little teeny little tags that you can use to decorate, little, write little notes on. Um, you can also place those inside some of the little pockets. Some more little muslin that you can stamp on yourself and place anywhere in the book. Sort of like sort of like what I did. Also there, these are, these are um, some vellum, printed vellum pieces that make wonderful collage little things that you can tear up and put behind your pictures or put behind your things that you place in your, um, in your book as layering. Make wonderful layering or just plain. Here are some little items that you can place within your book. Also, again, just some little tucks and tabs and um, little pieces of ephemera that you can use to um, decorate your book. And um, create, a, and this one can possibly, you know, be a pocket or, or its own tag right on the back. But these can be used for layering or just putting wherever in your book. It's just, it's just kind of fun to 
have some pieces of artwork that you can use to help start your journey. And these are lots of labels. Again, you can save. Um, these are stamp labels and cut out. So lots of different labels that you can use to label your book. These are some little writing tags that you can use too. But again, it kind of goes with the theme of the book. And there's um, some dark brown ones a little bit. So all kinds of different labels. And so that is what I call my uh, journal kit. I like to be able to not only offer a book, but maybe offer some things that you can use to, if you're not sure what to do, you can use inside the book. And, um, yeah. and so these will go, it'll come in a, a box. Sorry about that. Where I can stamp, I stamp some, excuse me, stamp some paper. So we'll put it in there, and it'll come with all these little goodies. for your journey. Hope you enjoy and be able to use this book. Oh, I think there's also, <laughs> I forgot these, just some little flowers stamped and a little, little bit of uh, a sticker, a little bit of vellum. And you can use these, all these little envelopes in your journal too, with some extra, sorry, ribbon. Again, hope you enjoy and have a good day.